Lady Jane, uh, thank you so much for sharing your songs with us today. Yeah, totally. It's really remarkable. Thank you. Uh, first off, uh, how did you get started writing your own songs? Um, I think I have been trying to write songs for a really long time, and um, I was living on an island off the coast of Maine when I was 24, and I started writing um, like a lot more seriously, and songs just started happening faster, mm -hmm. and it wasn't as hard. And then that's when it sort of clicked. And uh, so, who are some of your biggest uh, musical influences? Um, the big ones right now are uh, definitely Adrian Lenker, um, Buck Meek, and Twain are really big ones. Um, also, Henry Jameson is really, really talented. Um, yeah, those are like the top. Okay. Uh, I really I understand you released a new record. Uh, were yes. the songs that you played today off that record? Yes, the first two were. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, so uh, what, what, what are these uh, different songs that you played today uh, about? Can you tell us a little, little bit about the yeah. backstory? Um, so the first two are off the record. Okay. Um, and the first one was called Saving Grace. And that was based on a dream I had um, about this like teenager that was engaged to be married to a really wealthy man, um, but was in love with this guy that sung in the church. And her mom like kills this guy that she has a crush on. Well, that's an intense And then dream. she gets married away. Yeah, and then that's it. <laughs> um, and I've never written a song based off of, like, a dream before, so that was first. Uh, the second one was just a song I really loved that just sort of happened. Um, and the last two, the last one I wrote in 2014 um, when I was living with an ex-partner. And... Uh, I had like a little like study area in the apartment that we had where I would just like write for hours and it just sort of like happened. I was looking at a bunch of different old photographs. So, yeah. so uh, <laughs> tell me about the, the new record. Like, like uh, what, what was the recording process like and like from, from sort of start to finish and being able to see the record, listen to it after it was out. Yeah, so. it was great. I mean, it was amazing. It was the first time I'd ever worked in a studio um, and I worked uh, with Andy Cass at Sleeper Cave Records um, out in Williamsburg, Mass. And we and I'd written like all the songs prior, but being in the studio with him, it was definitely collaborative. Um, we like added a ton of instruments and there's like harmonium on there. And uh, he like threw in some keyboard and my friend Jake came in and was drumming. Um, and it was like a much more collaborative like team project than my other EPs have been. Have, have your past EPs just, just been you with a guitar and vocals? Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, like recorded in my bathtub or in my apartment. Oh, really? Yeah, very, very low um, quality in terms of just, like, sound. Well, I think that lo-fi sound is, like, something people strive for sometimes. Too, yeah, so. yeah, I've heard that. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so, uh, so last question. Do you have any shows coming up uh, May, June, July, throughout the rest of the summer? Yeah, I have a bunch in... Um, I have two at the end of May, um, both in upstate New York. Um, one's in Kingston, the other one's in Troy. And uh, then I have a bunch in June, also in um, Kingston and uh, New Paltz, upstate New York. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much again. Uh, awesome. Great set. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was really fun.